What's going on guys? It's Apathy here with another video and today we are going to be doing S&D and wager class setup. So a lot of you guys know I play wages every day. I've been grinding. I'm not in the league so therefore it's nothing really to play for. I've been grinding wagers. I've been playing S&Ds and you know tournaments all these things. So I have my classes pretty much set. The classes have been working for me. Classes that usually a lot of people use and I'm going to go really in depth here and kind of break down and the reason I wear my headset is because I love to hear game sound. I know I really don't need them on right now. So we're going to start with the wagers and then I'm going to show you different variations with you know S&D classes because usually when you play pros or tournaments or tournaments that don't have Vespers I'll talk about that a little bit into the video. But let's start with wagers. So you got the Vesper. Vesper's best gun in the game. There's no reason why you should not use it, especially in wager. Something I really recommend having most of the time is extended mags. Now, I'm not saying it's needed. You know, you could kill somebody with 30 bullets, but extended mags come so helpful. It's so useful, you know. It helps you get two pieces. There's moments where you're spraying, 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 and you end up wasting your whole 30 clip. But with extended mags, you have 12 bullets extra and usually saves you so many times. And then, of course, quick draw is really good. So I have two classes here, and I'm going to explain real quick. So I have one with quick draw extended mags. I feel like these are the two best attachments on this gun. And then it will come and then grip will come next. Some people like to use grip over quick draw or even grip over extended mags. Me personally, I find like this is a better balance. Grip does help a little bit, you know, your recoil for medium, like longer ranges. But I don't think that's big of a deal. With a Vesper, usually it's short to mid-range, you know, you're rushing. It does help, like I said, sometimes, but I really prefer these two over anything. Next, I got flash and the frag. The frags are really good. Not everyone runs flag jacket and SD. Half the team usually does, but either way, you know, get someone weak or you get a kill and then I have a flash. Flashes are so good. It's basically like mini heat waves. That's how I like to call it. And then I have attack master death silence after burning fast hands. Now fast hands is obviously a, a must. Uh, after burner is by far my favorite perk. It helps me so much with going around the map faster with my movement, everything like that. You know, you get to wall run easier and all these cool things. So I love after burner. Now, obviously, flag jacket is really important in SD. I normally don't have a flag jacket class. I usually have maybe one flag jacket class, and let's say they call in the RC, or I know they have streaks, and I'll pull it out. But either way, I love using afterburner over flag jacket any day. And then I have tech master death silence. This is my only class I believe that doesn't have blast suppressor yet. So this is my only class that's at Blast Presser. Tactical Mask is really important, especially when you play SD stars, when you play kids against who use flashes and stuns and they're not stupid, they actually know that they're really important and really useful. So this is like my rush class, you know, Blast Suppressor is not that needed because you can kind of boost around the uh, boost around the map without it appearing, it's like a little trick, but I don't know, you guys might not know that. But you know, Death Silence is definitely way more important than Blast Suppressor, so I really recommend you running Dead Silence over Blast Suppressor. And then I have Tag Mask, like I said, to rush. If I know I'm going to be in a position that I'm most likely going to get stunned. It's not a 50-50. Like, I'm most likely going to get stunned or flashed. And I'm definitely running attack mask. Usually involves me a rushing route or rushing area that, like I said, I might get stunned like mid-map or a bomb site. So I usually run this class. Now, when I want to be, you know, just roaming around, slaying and stuff like that, I'll run this class. I'll quick draw, extended mags, and grip. But with blast suppressor instead of uh, attack mask and obviously no tacticals or lethals. And this way, you know, I get to roam around the map easier. I don't have to worry about someone seeing my boost. I have a good, I have three attachments, so I'm good to outgun anyone from medium to long range. And you know, it's just a very strong class for a Vesper. Next, I got two overkill class. So now this is pretty basic. I used to run extended mags on this class instead of a uh, quick draw because I would only have one attachment because some people don't do this. Some people like to take off afterburner and have two attachments like this. I personally love afterburner on my sniper. Like I said, I love afterburner. It gets me around the map faster. And on top of that, like, uh, I'm the type of sniper that likes to, you know, jump around and boost really high and, like, look over the map and stuff like that and get snipes like that. So with afterburner, it makes that job so much easier. I don't have to wait for my thrust to recharge. You know, I'm ready to go almost every two seconds. I just boost up again. And that's how I get a lot of my snipes. So I love running afterburner on my sniper. It's really effective. Of course, I have blessed pressures that silence. That way I can clutch. And if I'm boosting, like I said, I like to do, uh, they can't see me on the radar. But this is pretty much my sniping class. I love it. You guys can try it. For my thermal, I use splice. Uh, I believe some people like fusion and some people like... Where is it? It's not the default one. Oh, this one, the prism. It's like a little square. Uh, I love Splice. Uh, uh, Nagafin told me to use this since the beginning of the game. And ever since I started using it, you know, I loved it and I just kept it because I'm really good with it. So then this would be my next sniper class. Now, it's the exact same thing. The only difference is I have cold-blooded. So there's not really a big difference. I use cold-blooded because teams like to, you know, counter you. If you're, like, raping them with a the sniper, they'll use cold-blooded. And for this class, uh, you know, you could change it up because, uh, let's say, do this. Afterburner is not a must-must in SD. Like I said, it's personal preferences. 
and I love it. I perf I personally love it, and I love having it on. Like I said, I get to roam around the map faster. I get to hit better movement, and it's just a lot nicer to have the sniper. Now, for a cold-blooded class, like you could do this. You don't have to have the exact same with the first class. Uh, this is more like a rush class of fa fast hands. You know, after burning, you move around the map. Cold-blooded, you know, slow down. You you know, you don't have afterburner. You know, you probably slow down your movement or something. Now, this is the biggest thing that a lot of people I feel like don't know, and this is something I learned recently, like a week a week or two ago. So the thing in S and D right now is people instead of quick draw. Quick draw is obviously a pretty good perk. You know, it's necessary. You know, it's really good. I'm not gonna lie. Quick draw obviously helps. But two things. Long barrel is so, 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 so good on the MA or good on ARs in general. On subs, I forgot Drifter. I talked about this in one of my videos. Drifter talked about how it increases damage by like 25% on subs. And on ARs, it's like 150% or 100% or something like that. So this long barrel on ARs are so good that it's stupid not to have it. So a lot of people are doing it, and I've been using this class. It's fucking godlike. Is they replace quick draw with long barrel. So instead of having quick draw, you know, you have long barrel, elo, stock. Some people prefer uh, re reflex to red dot. I I've i been using elo since the beginning of the game. I've seen people use reflex. I like when I pick up reflex. You know, I've tried it out before, but I'm just going to stick to my elo. I'm going to stick to what I'm good at. So I use elo, uh, stock, long barrel. Then I use the RK5. RK5s are so good. Let me tell you. Now the pistols are both good. MR6, RK5 are both good. But the RK5 can outgun Vespers, it can outgun almost any sub close range like every time. As long as it's not like medium long range, the RK5 will outgun a sub almost every time. And it's just like, you know, the M8, like especially when you're slowed down, you're not know, quick draw, you know, you're roaming around. When you get in close quarters, you can just pull out your RK5. Even if you're fighting an AR, a sub, whatever, just doo -doo. It literally shoots three bullet, three uh, bursts and I'm pretty sure it kills in two bullets. So if, if three of those, I don't, I don't know, I've seen it happen before, I don't know if, I, if, it's, it's, if I'm crazy. But I've seen this gun kill in two bullets many times. Let me see the damage on this. It's it's like halfway. I don't know. I don't know if it's a, it can one burst. That's all I know. But it's it's really good RK5. And then I just use these attachments right here. Normally, what I don't like, death silence and blast suppressor are so important. But if you were to keep one, for example, death silence is the way to go. Just because how important death silence is in this game, you cannot. You can almost never clutch without death silence. Like if you're playing S and D cars, S and D stars, or people who are really good in S and D, they will sound whore you. They will know where you are most of the time. Now you're playing against like wagers. Maybe you're playing not that good people. That's not a big deal necessarily. But death silence, it's really really important in this game. And then blast suppressor, of course, so you can't boost around. Some people don't even use blast suppressor. Most people you have been like people who play S and D a lot use these two, just because how important tactical mask is in any situation. Because like I said. A lot of S&D stars, people who are good at S&D, use stuns, use flashes, and that could be really bad for you. It can kill you. It, they can, that can get you killed in, in many situations. You know, they see you around the map, they see you in the corner. Oh, you're stunned. They just rush you dead. So a lot of people have been using attack mask. I, I don't really get in that many situations. Like I said, if I'm going to ever rush, I use this class. But normally, I just use this class. And, you know, you could have another MA class with attack mask like I did with this, two Vespers. One has attack mask over blast suppressor. And like I mentioned earlier, Blast Suppressor, you know, it's necessary. But the thing about Blast Suppressor is once you boost, like I think if you slide, once you use your, your meter and you start boosting after that, it no longer shows on the radar. It's like a little trick that I, I guess was implemented in the game. So it's not that big of a deal because let's say you're roaming around. Let's say you boost once, right? And you, they saw the boost and you're boosting everywhere like to get wherever you are. It no longer shows the boost anymore in the minimap. Now, obviously, you still hear the, the boosters are a little louder. I'm pretty sure the blast suppressor, you know, obviously, it makes the thrust sound really low, so it kind of helps, but it's just how it is. So, these are my classes, guys, and then the only difference I really have in, like, pro pros and S&D tournaments or anything that doesn't have Vespers or, like, Band and Protect is I use a CUDA. So, I pretty much had the same thing, but replaced the primary replaced by CUDA, replaced by CUDA, replaced by CUDA, replaced by CUDA. So I used to have four kudos. I'm not a big fan of VMP anymore. It's good. No, don't get me wrong, especially in respawn, but I really prefer the kuda, especially in SD. And usually, alright, these this is wrong. So because I had we were playing bad and protect. But usually what I use are these three. I use quick draw grip and extended mags. And S D extended mags isn't that necessary. You can use quick draw and grip only. And these two are the only attachments you really need on the kuda. Quick draw and grip. Quick draw and grip. Like that's all you need. Like it, this gun needs extended mags. Kuda doesn't necessarily need extended mags because it shoots a lot slower, so your your ammo doesn't run out run out that quick. So you just put quick draw and grip, 
And then if you're gonna rush, you know, like well, let's say you want to rush with a Cuda. Like I have three attachment Vesper. You don't even need to have a three attachment Cuda to be honest. Like it's not that necessary. But you can play either Laser Sight or Long Barrel. And then if you if you want to, I think Extended Mags is really good in the Cuda or even Fast Mags. But it's not really necessary, you know, like I said, especially in SMD. Now, if you're playing Respawn, then I definitely recommend Extended Mags. Either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. This has been my SMD slash Wagers class setup for Black Ops 3. Uh, this probably won't change for a couple months until maybe they have some insane, like, update of a nerf of a gun or a buff of a gun. But usually, you know, this far into the game, we know what we're using, we know what we're doing, and this pretty much will stay the same for a while. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, you know, I went pretty in-depth with it. I hope you guys understand everything I said. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. This has been your boy Apathy. I'm out. Peace.